Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brandon here and welcome back to Bears franchise. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Honestly, I think I've enjoyed it a lot more than, than um, I thought I would. Uh, and we did a lot better than I think we all thought we would. Uh, 11 and 6, we entered the offseason after making it to the NFC Championship game. And uh, we've got a lot of positions. I am live streaming this, so... For those of you guys who missed it, next offseason, we will be live streaming. So uh, be on the lookout for that when that comes around. So that way you guys can join in and uh, help decide what we do with this team. So we've we've kind of went over the roster here. I'll show you guys the roster real quick as we get into it. But offensively, adding a wide receiver, at least one, maybe two. I just, I, I don't... Newsom is too slow for a five foot ten, five foot eleven receiver. Wims just not good enough. So I would say at least one if we can find a, another, uh, maybe in the draft. Uh, two wide receivers, right tackle we need, center we need. Um, I might look at just tight end just for depth in, in the draft, maybe a late round tight end for depth. Uh, and then let me actually add that in there, so I don't forget. Uh, is we could probably look at tight end. I haven't looked at free agency either, so we could po possibly find a tight end there. Defensively, outside linebackers, safety, uh, defensive tackle I'm going to look at, left end, cornerback possibly for more depth. Um, but we were thinking about moving to a 4-3. We'll see how the draft goes. And special teams, I think we need a punter. And that's about it. So that's where we're at. That's what we've kind of come up with. I... Uh, We'll see what happens, but let's go ahead. I actually did do scouting for this week already, uh, just to look at, at, at a little bit. So let's get into free agency. We only have 25 million. You know what? Let me look real quick at team salaries here. Let me look at the salary. Is there anyone that maybe we could get rid of? Um, Roquan, we're not getting rid of Roquan Smith. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Robert Quinn. Uh, too much of a penalty. Danny Trevathan. Okay. Danny Trevathan. Um, Lexan's not going to play. Okay, let me start releasing, guys. I'm going to release. Blackson at, at free up uh, almost two mil. Um, we're going to release Danny Gervathan. I thought Danny Gervathan played pretty well, but we have a lot of depth there. We're going to release Danny Gervathan. Save some money there. Mm, who else do we want to release? No, not Cohen. Too much of a penalty there. Edwards? No. Let's see. Caleb Farley? No. Um, okay. I think that's pretty much the best we could do. So we should have a little over 30 mil now available. Man, we do not have a lot of money. Where is our money? I mean, I guess we probably got hit pretty hard with trading Robinson and uh, Khalil Mack. So that's that would make sense that would make sense um okay so we've got cap room 33 available funds we have 70 mil we could re-sign Allen robinson uh we can go after Devontae adams i don't think i'm gonna do anything crazy like that like i said I, there's a receiver that i really like in the draft so i think i'm gonna go with receiver in the draft instead of in free agency plus I, i'm not paying a receiver that much money um jason Kelsey. He's 34, but hmm, we really need offensive line help. Really need offensive line help. Michael Gallup. Maybe. Uh, anyone like younger? We do need a punter. J.K. Scott. 96 kick power. Yeah, let's sign J.K. Scott to like a five-year deal so we don't have to worry about it like ever again in this franchise. And let's let's sign J.K. Scott. Um, 
Hmm. We could bring in a veteran running back to split carries. We could do that. Ooh, you know what? Naeem Hines. That would be a good... Like, he's he's basically Cohen, but better. Ooh. I think that would be a really nice addition. Maybe, like, three years. He's kind of expensive. Oh, man. Miami's giving him so much money. I uh, No. No. If he wants to pick us, great. Ooh, Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker could be a good pickup. I don't know. Vander Esch would be amazing. Too. I mean, he's 26 out of an 81 overall. Maybe not. Um, let's see, Ben Jones, we really need offensive linemen and there's just no one in this draft at offensive line or, uh, free agency. Hmm. Let's look at, let's look at right tackle Morgan Moses, TJ Fluker. It's, I don't know. Will Hernandez, no. Um, I mean, we can move guys around. Connor Williams might actually be decent. We can move him over. He's six foot five. We can move him over to right tackle just to make sure we get him because I really want him. And then let's go out and get Cam Robinson to a. Uh, let's do three year. And I think I'm going to move him over to right tackle. And I'll figure out what we want to do at center. Okay. And then how much money do we have? 10? What else do I want to look at here? What if I tried to do punter? We're not going to get Heinz. We just don't have a lot of money. We don't really have a lot of money. There was a safety that I saw. Who was the safety? We could go for Ronnie Harrison Jr. Oh, Malik Hooker was the other one with Farley and Johnson. Ooh, that'd be nice. It's He's going to cost a lot of money, though. I don't think we can afford him. We're not going to be able to afford him. We're going to have to go for the draft for secondary, unfortunately. Could I afford Ronnie Harrison? We could go out and get Ronnie Harrison Jr. He's, uh, he's slow, though. 86 speed. How fast is Hooker? 89. Um, you know what? I could always move Ronnie Harrison to linebacker. Especially if we go 4-3. He's, he's, he's a lot more versatile, so I can move him around. Let's do 5 years, 3.5. We'll up the money a little bit. Let's see if we can get him... Oh, geez. That's way too much. Okay. What about this? Okay. Let's see if we can get him for that. And I think I think that's good for free agency. There is a corner in the draft, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and there's a couple of safeties that we can maybe move around. So there's a lot that we can do with this defense, and we can move them around. Um... And there's a wide receiver in the draft. There's a wide receiver in the draft. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can get these guys here from free agency. We did not get Hines. Oh, we did not get Robinson. Oh, we needed that one. I should have given him more money. We got Harrison. We got Williams. Shoot. We need, we need a right tackle. We, we need another tackle. Okay. Okay. Who's available? Who's available? Eric Fisher? No. Crosby? <sighs> oh, Zach Gordon. Zach Gordon was another one. Yeah, his man coverage is B+. Plus. Yeah. Uh, and then Jalen Hood looks decent. Early second in the third. Hmm. 
Nope. Uh, safeties. There was a bunch of strong safeties in this class. Jalen Shepard, mid first. He's six foot three. We can move him around too. Third round, really good value. Charles Gordon looks really good. Early first. I mean, this dude, fit, like his combine report's amazing. Uh, and then Oro Dubois looks good too. It says he's an early first. Wait, is Gordon early first? He is. Hit power for Oro Dubois. It's amazing. He's also physically really good. League signings. Devontae Adams went to Cincinnati. Oh, that's pretty good. Allen Robinson went to Oakland or Vegas. Uh, McCordy to the Chargers. The Jets, really? Godwin went to the Colts. JC Jackson went to the Chargers. Gronk to the Panthers. Uh, Gallup to the Lions. Hines went to the Dolphins. Hooker went to the Raiders. We just made a trade here. Our first round pick next year. Our 26th this year. And Cohen. For pick 3 and 16. We'll just roll with Herbert unless we find a different running back. Um, yeah. Okay, so we got pick three. Let's go. Let's go after. I the Landon Flynn better be good, man. He better. He looks really good. Goodbye, Cohen. <laughs> Hands clapping. Yeah, he's gone. All right, with the third over, I'm sure they probably would have taken quarterback. To be honest. Um, but like, just in case they took a defensive end, I really want Landon Flynn. I think he's our perfect replacement for a guy like Khalil Mack. It's going to work out really well with the third overall pick. He's ranked seven. This is a good draft. Oh, this is a great draft. Anyway, 77 overall, star or better development. He's 22 years old, six foot one, 82 finesse moves, 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 82 tackle, 79 strength, 78 block shed, 84 agility. He looks good. He looks great. He's this. He's only the seventh best player in this draft. Who's better than him? I, I, I guarantee you that receiver is better than him. Trust me. We're going to get that receiver. Um, but he's great. And he's only the seventh best uh, player. He's amazing. Okay. Let's see what Philly does here. They take quarterback. I mean, we could have just went after the fourth and it would have been cheaper. But like Flynn was so good. We have to do it. We have to do it. Uh, we have pick seven. Let's just see. We don't need that other defense van. Another quarterback goes. Do I swap with the Chargers and go for the other? We don't need another defensive end, right? They might go offensive lineman, to be honest. Yeah, late first. We don't need him. Um, honestly, we could actually trade down. We got to trade. We are trading down from pick seven. We're throwing in Eddie Goldman. Nice to know you. Have fun. Elijah Wilkinson, you suck. Uh, we're taking, we're dropping down over, we're trading down all the way to 19. We're actually going to take the Dolphins uh, first round pick next year, with uh, pick seven. And we might try and flip that later on to add some more second, third round picks. We shall see. There's just no one else uh, like this high in the draft that we really want. There goes Bruce Rogers. Uh, Evan Ramsey goes, who's a 70 overall left guard. Um, okay. New Orleans takes Kyle Hilliard from Clemson, who's a 73 overall. Uh, this is a really good draft. That's a bad pick by the Broncos. Good one, guys. Okay. Oh, no, that was the Giants. Sorry. The Broncos took Ben Mann at right tackle. Okay, so we're up. We're up here at pick 11. I mean, we could honestly trade down from 11. Trade. We're trading Tabor 11 
for pick 18 and a second round pick to the Cincinnati Bengals. Trading down a lot, but a lot of the guys that we want are at the end of the first round. So I think we're fine as long as that corner doesn't go here. There's other good corners. Lorenzo Waller was the other defensive end. He's at 74 overall. This is a really good draft. James, where one of the corners goes, he's a 75. I mean, all three are really good, and there's no way all three... Well, I guess there is a way that all three go. <laughs> um, all right, let's see what happens here. George Harbour, wide receiver, goes 75 overall. Okay. Uh, Green Bay... He's a 78 overall. He's a 78 overall. There's two corners ahead of him. Why take him? Why? Why take him? Why? He's a 78 overall. He's, a, he's so good. I don't want any of these guys. Dwayne Redman looks the best out of the others. He actually looks really good. He's really fast. Dwayne Redman might be the choice. There's also a lot of safeties that we want. We could honestly, if Earl Dubois is good enough or Charles Gordon, maybe we go with both of these guys and hope that their coverage is good enough and we can move one of, one of them to corner. We could do that. We could still take Dwayne Redman. We can take Jalen Hood and just add a lot of depth. Oh my God, Zach Gordon, dude. He's a 78 overall. We'll check his um development trait after. See if uh, maybe it was just star and, you know, whatever. We're okay with it, right? B plus tackle, B plus block shed, early first. We're going to go with Griffey here. Yes! 78 overall, hidden development, fifth best player in this draft. We drafted him at 18, star better development. 93 strength! Let's go! Oh my god! 81 block shed, 72 power moves, 76 speed is pretty good, 80 tackle. His injury is really low. So we're definitely taking another defensive tackle for sure. He's amazing though. How is it? He's better than our first pick. And I thought that was amazing. Oh, this draft. That's a mini Goldman. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think it was the right move to trade Goldman. Okay. We're, we're back up. I mean, we have so many picks here. Here we go. Uh, I'm not going to trade down anymore. Well, no. I don't want... I do not want to lose out on these safeties. Uh, and I don't want to lose out on this corner. So, screw it. Let's just take these guys and then we'll go from there. All right. So, with our next pick at pick 19, a lot of these guys are dropping probably for a reason anyways. He's slow. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Earl Dubois. Here we go. Let's see if he's Goldman would have just regressed anyway. Hopefully this guy has superstar dev. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. Totally agree, Jake. All right. Here we go. Earl Dubois. Please. Uh, normal development. Okay. It's fine. Can we move him to corner? That's the question. 93 speed, 77 zone, 70 man. Okay, here's our. We can move him to corner. We can add a lot of depth to corner. He's a normal development, which isn't great. 83 injury, which is not good. But he's fast and he has decent enough coverage where we can we can move to corner. And tackling is low for a safety, but tackling is good for I mean it's it's fine for a corner, right? If he like he's a better, much better corner than he is safety. This is perfect. 
We need corners. We needed at least two corners. And uh, I, I think this works. We drafted. He's a, he, he played safety in college, but he's a good corner. Th this is this is a solid pick at corner. Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if his overall went up when we move him to corner. Because his tackling is bringing down his overall at safety. Whereas that for a corner isn't bad. It's not great, but it, it's not bad. This is a corner. This is a corner. Normal normal development sucks, but but I think that's a solid pick. Atlanta Falcons take a right guard. We have three of our next four here. Redmond, Charles, Patton. We're dipping into the second round, but we could probably trade down. I just we, we lost out on Zach Gordon, which is still killing me. Um so I don't, I don't want to lose out on any of these guys. Gordon, I think, is going to be really, really good. He's going to be really freaking good. Um, All right. Here we go. Pick number 21. Dwayne Redman out of North Dakota State. 75 overall. So he's technically worse than the safety who we're going to move to corner. But he has star or better development at five foot ten he has a 94 speed his coverage is way worse than dubois but physically he's really good 94 speed 95 acceleration 85 agility 90 jumping 74 catching his injury is a little low but there you go there's corners number threes and three and four so we're gonna take charles gordon here another safety 78 overall star better development oh my god this draft is so good 94 speed 75 zone 71 tackle 77 pursuit 91 excel 75 hit power 72 zone or man 95 injury boom starting safety just like that this draft this draft class isn't that's what i was telling you guys when i was looking at this i was like this is a good draft the fact that our first pick was a 77 overall and he was like the seventh best this he's the third best player we haven't seen the first or second best players in this draft class or well that imagine if we would have gotten zach gordon man this draft class would have been nuts if he has star better development. Zach Gordon might not have star better development. We might have lucked out. We might have lucked out. You never know. We'll check after the after draft. Pittsburgh is up. Please don't take my defensive tackle. They take a right tackle. Okay, so let's look at this here. How many receivers are... Okay, there's plenty of receivers, so our receivers should not go. Yeah, we got Zach Gordon... Or we got Zach Gordon's brother... Hey, good storyline. Good storyline. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We missed out on the other brother, but I, honestly, Zach Gordon might be better. He might be better. We'll, we'll look. Uh, we'll look. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take this other defensive tackle, which I thought this defensive tackle was better than the defensive tackle that we actually took. I thought he was going to be the better one. Um... So we'll see. Early first rounder. B plus block shed. B plus tackle. B plus play rec. We're going to take Dominic Patton. Okay, he's not better. But 77 overall. Normal development. He's going to be right behind the other defensive tackle. 93 strength. 80 block shed. His power moves are low. 79 tackle he's just we just got to hope that he improves his injury though is 96 that was the other issue right with that other, other defensive tackles his injury was really low so dominic Patton will be our second defensive tackle we're gonna move we're probably gonna move to a 4-3 we'll see um so he's either gonna be starting alongside our other defensive tackle or he will be our his backup um, the power moves, exactly. The power moves are an easy fix. I think it's solid. I think it's a solid pick. It's a solid pick. Okay. So, 
what are we looking at here? Our next pick, I want to be that wide receiver. That's going to be our first pick in the second round. Uh, Apple White looks really good as well. I don't, we might have to move up for Apple White. If Terrence Lamb is there, great. Terrence Lamb might not be there. Um, we not, we might not be able to get Terrence Lamb. So trade, we're moving up to make sure we get Terry, Tony, Terry, whatever, Honeycut. Uh, so we're trading the first overall pick in the second round to move up to 29 in round one. We're trading Gibson and a sixth because of the safeties that we've drafted. And we will draft another safety, I think. So let's uh, go ahead and make our pick here. Another first round pick. We're taking Terry Honeycutt. We're reaching a little bit. He probably would have been there with the first overall pick in the second round. But I just want to make sure that we get him because he looks incredible. He looks really, really good. We're going to draft him. Terry Honeycutt. 80 overall i told you guys i told you guys the number one player in this draft terry honeycutt six foot one i wish he was a bit taller i wish he was like six three six four i'll take it six foot one he's 21 years old out of oklahoma star or better development yeah he has 96 speed are there just a crap ton of receiver like fast receivers in this draft? Uh, his route running is a, I mean, deep route running is an 83. Though. That's really good. I, dude, this dude's ridiculous. Tyreek Hill Jr. I, I mean, he's six foot one, but yeah. 83 catching. I mean, dude. Matching him up with Darnell Mooney. I. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Look at his change of direction. 87. I mean, after the catch, this dude's a nightmare. Oh my God. He's so good. Put him on the streak and he's gone. Oh man. We have him and Darnell Mooney. Woo. I see. I told you guys it was worth moving up just in case. Just in case. I, I knew he was going to be the best player in this draft. He's, he's ridiculous. He's ridiculous. All right. All right. Eric Graham goes 73 overall to Kansas City. Tyler Staley goes at left end to Tampa. The Raiders take Orlando Rhodes, a 74 overall quarterback. The Jets will take Matt Ross. The Lions are taking BJ Shields. There goes that other wide receiver. He's a 75 overall. OP overpowered. Um, Quan McBride, another left end. There's a lot of good left ends in this draft. The Colts take Terrence. Oh my God. Frick. Terrence Lamb is really good too. Shoot, that was my other re receiver that I wanted. I did not think he'd go that high. I, I was just, I'm, I was never going to... We'll see. We'll see what his uh, development trait is. Oh. It will. Should I have done that? I didn't think that'd go... Th I'll, I mean, I'll take it. We get a second this year for next year's second. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think that'd go through. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Well, well, we're going to go with Matt Applewhite here. He's a speed rusher. Six foot three, 249. He looks really good. We're going to go with him. 75 overall, normal development. Dang it. All right. It's fine. 75 overall is good. Normal development. 86 speed, 82 tackle, 87 acceleration, 78 finesse moves. Just more depth. Um, at outside linebacker. We might actually just move him to defensive end. So with the 18th overall pick here in the second round, we're going to take Robert Pitts. 
72 overall normal develop or star better development sweet rank number 43 drafted drafted him at 50 six foot four 317 90 strength his pass block is a little weak we can get that up his run block is solid he's good he's really good 72 overall star better development boom with the 24th pick in the second round we're gonna reach a little bit but Jalen Shepard looks pretty good he looks more like a linebacker to me he's 23 years old he's a mid first pursue a minus hit power eight minus b tackle he looks solid and he's solid 76 overall normal development wish that was better 88 speed yeah i might move him to linebacker zone and man is a bit low block shed's really low though i don't know i don't know where this guy's gonna fit joe palmer 73 overall normal development we add depth at, at defensive tackle 94 we got some strong ass defensive tackles he's good he's good normal development kind of sucks but he's good all right let's uh advance our next user pick here and i'm just gonna go ahead and take this tight end uh there might be two actually decent oh no it's just him all right tracy erst welcome to the team 75 overall normal uh star better development i'll take it that's good 75 vertical threat ranked number 14 in the class 93 we drafted him at he's six foot six has 88 speed 81 catch his route running is bad but he's just he's a physical threat that can go deep he looks really good he looks really good he looks great we need a depth at tight end and uh, that's perfect star better development out of florida state there we go that's the draft that's the draft what do you guys think yeah 78 catching traffic is, is really good um all right we'll advance to the end of the draft that's it for our draft picks kind of reminds me of kyle pitts yeah yeah i don't think he's quite as fast but yeah he looks good he's he's solid he's solid we have pair him up with Cole Komet. Let's look at our draft recap here. Okay. So the, the, the number one thing. So for, first off, I'm not going to look at our uh, development traits. Our, at least ours. What I do want to look at though is that corner. Uh, by the way, this draft class was sick. Dude, what? Like whoever we would have taken would have been amazing. This draft was ridiculous. The depth in this draft was insane. Oh my god, Terrence Lamb was the second. Oh, he looks good. 5 foot 11, 97 speed. Oh. Now that's a Tyree kill. Mm. What's his development trait? I thought he was I thought he was going to drop, dude. That's crap. Star. Oh, uh, okay. I, it's not superstar. I would have been sick if that was superstar. But 97 speed. Uh, he would have been wide receiver, what? Four, three? Yeah, he would have been wide receiver three. That's all right. That's all right. Seth Green for Florida State. Normal development. The number one overall pick. Head star better. What was his? I mean, not that we needed a, a quarterback, but star. Okay. Pretty slow for a six foot one quarterback. Um, all right. Let's see here. Here we go. We got Zach Gordon and we've got, where's the other Gordon? Oh, we've got Zach Gordon and Charles Gordon. We took Charles Gordon. He's rated slightly, I mean, technically he's rated higher, yes. I don't know. Uh, let's see if we 
yeah technically 77 awareness is better ha uh it's slower slower but um where is his coverage i mean i guess i don't know they they both look really good tackle is really good for a corner is that gordon out of oregon had star better okay I swear, dude, if it's superstar or better, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, man. We just missed out on a sick corner, dude. Oh, I mean, he's so good. He's so good. That is... I mean, we got a good corner, too, but, like... And we got his brother, Charles Gordon. I, right to make things worse it's the freaking Packers I didn't even think of that oh it's fine it's fine yeah brother versus brother two times a year I mean how cool is that though how cool is that? That's pretty cool. We wanted him, gets drafted by our rivals. We take his brother instead. Eight picks later and he's just as good. Hopefully as superstar better development. That's going to be a fun storyline during the season, dude. It's going to be a good storyline. If one of them were wide receiver, that'd be so sick. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Byron, okay, so Byron Drummond, I was in. Oh, he has star better development. Uh, I should have maybe had taken him. He didn't look better than the other guys, but it's star, so. I mean, what can you do? This draft class was nuts. I mean, dude. The top four, five, have all star or better development. Terrence Lamb kills me, man. Terrence Lamb and Zach Gordon, the two that got away. Zach Gordon, the one that got away. That's devastating, too. <laughs> I wanted Zach Gordon. That makes me so mad. So mad. The Packers really... Really? Screw the Packers, dude. Anyways, thank you guys for uh, joining the live stream. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for interacting. This has been fun. We'll have Jets, the Jets uh, offseason as well um, in a week or so, or in like two weeks, I think. So look out for that. That draft class does not look as good as this one. This draft class was absurd. Although there is a really good, I think there's like a super good secondary in the, in the next draft class. So, um, we'll hopefully be able to upgrade that, that disaster of a secondary in just franchise. But anyways, I think we filled most of the holes. I think I might look for a running back in free agency. Um, and yeah, I think we filled all the holes, right? We filled a lot of holes. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought, though, in the comments uh, down below in the video. If you guys are watching this in the video, hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button for me as well. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the preseason where we get a really good look at all these young guys. See you guys then.